Baby, you a masterpiece. God took his time on you. Always on my mind, but I'd rather have my mind on you. Beauty is defined on you. Perfectly designed on you. If you see your flaws, let it. Good morning. Okay, so I am doing something different today. So I have my road mic. I have my road mic connected to my camera today, but the thing is, you see like I have you can flip up my viewfinder and the road mic is in the way of the viewfinder y'all so i cannot see myself while i'm talking to y'all and it's kind of giving me anxiety i really don't like it but i know that with this microphone it will increase my sound quality so i'm doing it for the content y'all i'm doing it for the content we're just gonna do kind of a day in the life type thing because i don't really have anything super big planned so um again day in the life of what i do all day <laughs> Now I'm going to go ahead and write out some stuff that I need to do for this week on my whiteboard. I try to do this every week because I just like to be sitting here at my desk and looking up to see what I need to get done. I can differentiate it on what days I want to get it done. Oh no, where's my purple marker? There it is. It wasn't in the marker container. It wasn't in the marker container. Okay, so I think that's all that I have. Um, yeah, so like I said, I like to organize it so that I can see what I have to do for the day. So I have it all written out. Um, I'm really trying to find a way to organize my whiteboard, but I really haven't found something that works for me just yet. Um, and um, yeah, so now I'm going to go downstairs. It's like... 10 40 so it's almost 11 so it's already pretty late and i'm just gonna go and make myself some oatmeal or something for breakfast because i'm pretty hungry and i need to feed myself So, I'm here. I'm going to give you a fun fact. So, this jacket, this is a pink jacket. 
okay and i've had this jacket since my mom bought this jacket for me before my first day of high school okay and i still have it and i still wear it to this day y'all it is literally so raggedy it is so raggedy like the little string i don't even know where that is like but i don't know like i really like this jacket i don't wear it out the house it's like an in-house jacket just to kind of keep me comfortable but i just love it i don't know why i just don't want to get rid of it or why i won't just throw it out and wear like i don't know a nicer jacket but i feel like we personally all have those things that are raggedy that we just don't want to throw away like do y'all have something like that because i really want to know just so i don't feel like uh why she walking around with this raggedy jacket on After all of my singing and dancing and working and dancing and singing, it's lunchtime. I made a tuna sandwich and some chips. So, yeah, hopefully I can, you know, eat this really quickly because I got to get ready for work soon. And I just don't like rushing. So, all right, y'all. So, my hair is looking real raggedy, just real unloved. So, I'm about to wash it um, as much as I would love to take y'all in the shower with me so y'all can see me wash my hair. I did that one time and it was just too difficult so I probably will never do that again. But I will tell y'all what I'm going to use. So I'm going to use my Cactus Beauty Bar um, Black Soap Shampoo. It looks really raggedy. And then I'm, I'm going to deep condition steam treatment with the Myel Rosemary Mint hair strengthening hair mask y'all this stuff is bomb okay my hair literally loves it um today is probably definitely going to be a longer wash day because i'm not gonna detangle my hair before i get in the shower i'm just gonna go in there and let the lord's work happen that's what's gonna happen so i'm gonna get into the shower and then um i'll come back when it's time for me to steam and we'll just go from there here i am getting a good steam okay um i really really like having this steamer i've had it since the summer now and i have been you know steaming my hair for like every time i wash my hair i steam and i've noticed that when i don't steam after i wash my hair my hair does not feel as soft so um yeah, just sitting here steaming. The steam lasts like maybe 20 minutes or so. I usually just set myself up to like sit in front of my TV. So that's what we're doing here. And then um, I'm going to rinse my hair out when it's done with cold water. And then I'll see y'all when it's time to just do an easy, quick little styling. So yeah, freshly steamed, freshly washed. This is what it's giving you. Y'all know I like to do my hair in sections. Oh, I missed a whole section of hair, Jesus. At any rate, I'm just going to do like a quick like braid out. Right now my hair is in six sections. I'm probably just gonna split those like, I'm honestly just going to split each section into two, braid it and go about my day. I'm using the Melanin Hair Care Leave-In Conditioner and um, I'm also going to use the Melanin Hair Care Oil. Like this is clearly a holy grail product for me. And then I'm going to try something different. I'm going to do the main choice um, exotic Kool-Aid like definition jello. Um, I originally bought this to do wash and goes, but I really only feel comfortable doing wash and goes in the summer. I don't know, but um, it says this is good for like twist outs and braid outs too. You can see like if it'll focus on it. Focus on it. 
Okay, but yeah, you can see it's like a really jelly texture. Like it moves around in there really well. So I'm gonna try this for once and see like how it goes for me. All finished, all finished. Um, honestly, the braid out um, is my go-to style. If you knew me in college or like we was roommates or something, like you know, like you know my hair stays in some braids. And like typically I will really keep these braids in for at least two or three days before I take them out. Um, I do plan on taking these out on Thursday because I am filming, so. I just needed to make sure I got my hair done today and I'm just so glad it's clean and it's done because my head was itching and I just, I don't got time for that. I don't have time for that at all. Good morning. It's kind of dark. Let's go this way. That really doesn't make it better. But anyway, um, I'm spending a day in bed. I'm still working. I'm kind of having a work from bed day today. Okay, it's raining, it's cold outside, and on days like today, like, it's hard, it's hard. So I am having a work from bed day. So I'm just doing some scheduling for some of my clients. I'm also watching the Real Housewives of Potomac reunion, y'all. Oh my gosh, it's so crazy so far. So yeah, just a uh, work from bed day. Um, I do have to go um, to the gym a little bit later where I coach gymnastics. I'm gonna go a little bit early to help them do some stuff. Um, so I've really been at it since early this morning. And uh, yeah. Hey y'all! Okay, so I just got off work and um, when I got home, I was met with this package right here. I ordered from this brand called Telfar. They're a black owned luxury brand. And they did this thing um, a couple months ago. It was probably in like August where you can order your bag in advance and they will mail it to you between the times of December and January. I went ahead and did that because if you know, Telfar literally sells out of their bags so quickly. It is literally unreal. So I did that order ahead thing and I ordered a medium yellow Telfar bag. At the time, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't know that the medium bag was going to be as big as it, you know, is gonna be. But I'm really excited, so let's go ahead and open it. Here we go. Ooh, so you open the bag and you're met with some plastic wrapping and I guess the bag, like the bag, the bag bag, the bag for the bag, you know. This is real North and luxurious. Ooh, super cute. Okay, are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Ooh. How cute is this? This is actually pretty cute. This is really a cute bag. 
Sorry, I can't help but smell it. It is supposed to be made with like vegan leather or something like that. And it does have a very interesting smell to it. I'm not going to lie. Oh, and if I haven't let y'all know, this is black on. Okay. So see, it has the strap. I can put it like this. Okay. Or I can wear it like this. All right. Ooh, okay. It's a whole lot of space in there whole lot of space this is cute i think this is a cute summer bag for me maybe because it's yellow i don't know but i'm definitely gonna figure it out i think this is really cute and it seems very like nice quality so i'm very happy with my tell fall i have a tell fall Good. good morning good morning good morning it's thursday um about 9 30 and um for those who didn't know georgia is um in a runoff election for senate um so this morning i am doing my part and i am choosing to early vote um if you are in georgia i really hope that you have a plan to vote um early voting started on monday on the 14th and um, the election day is on January the 5th, okay? So I'm about to go ahead and cast my vote and I'll be back with my I'm a Georgia voter sticker, baby, okay? When I tell y'all this literally took two seconds, like I feel like I was only in there for literally like three minutes. Like I cannot make that up. Ooh. Okay, <laughs> period. Uh, so. Just, yeah, I'm about to do my hair and everything, but I'm getting ready to film a video that I'm posting next week. Um, so I just kind of wanted to show y'all like my setup, like how I set up when I'm doing like talking videos and like not vlogs when y'all see like this background and everything. So just check it out real quick. So yeah, obviously I make sure that the bed is nice and made up and the pillows are fluffed and looking cute and that my background looks good. Um, only thing I'll say is I still don't have a picture for that. Do y'all have any suggestions on what picture to put in this picture frame, y'all? Because it's, it's gonna be an Ikea picture frame forever. I don't know what's going on with me. And then I have my two softbox lights here facing directly at me. And then my tripod here, clearly where my camera is going to go. And um, yeah, I just sit right here, front and center, and I just film my video. So um, I'm about to throw some makeup on, like literally throw some makeup on, because that's the worst part I feel about filming videos, like having to do your makeup when you really don't feel like it and you've been at home all day. But I'm going to do my makeup. I'm going to do my hair real quick. And we're going to get started on some filming. All right. Ready to film. I really love this sweater, y'all. Um, I got it from Nasty Gal. I haven't had the chance to like wear it out yet, but it will do for the video. Of course, I have my leggings, my fuzzy socks, you know. Because you're only going to get this, so that's all that matters. So, let me go ahead and get to filming. Okay, so I finished filming. Um, I put my long sleeve back on because that's when it was actually a little bit uncomfortable. But it was cute, though. So, I'm about to wrap gifts. I'm about to wrap some presents. So, here are all of my... See if I can pick it all up at one time. Here are all the presents that I have to wrap. Um, obviously, I'm not going to show y'all the actual gifts because everyone who I got a gift for watches my YouTube videos, so I won't be doing that. One of the gifts I'm actually going to wrap in wrapping paper, um, and then I bought these bags from Tall J. I bought these bags and some um, paper to do the other two gifts. So I got gifts for my boyfriend, my parents, and my brother, but my brother's gift doesn't require wrapping, so I only have to wrap my boyfriend's gifts and my parents' gifts. So yeah, I'm about to do that. I think I'll do my parents' gifts first since their stuff is going in a bag. Like I think that that'll be the easiest. I think my dad will get this bag little snowflake on it and I'll give my mom the Christmas tree bag that's super cute so I'm gonna open up the first package yay y'all I literally had this stuff hidden in my closet for at least a week and a half or so so 
I'm really excited to be finally getting the chance to wrap it up. Oh my gosh, they just made this so easy for me. It's already like prepared for a gift bag. Look at the Lord. Come on. So I have my bag. And I'm going to open up this tissue paper. I guess I really want to use like more of the red tissue paper because I feel like, well, it's like a snowflake theme. I guess that would be cute. So what I like to do, I like to do that little, little thing. And I like to coat the bottom of the bag with a sheet of tissue paper. Just like that. And this is a bigger bag, so you can't see much. But I like to coat the bottom like that and then I'll take another piece of tissue paper and I'll wrap the actual gift in it I had to make sure y'all couldn't see it because I did do a take and you could see it a little bit so I had to had to get it together I don't wrap this up any kind of fancy way I'm not even gonna lie I just wrap it up in there and I just stick it in there Stick it in there like so. Cute. All right, and then we're gonna take the other, cause I got I got my dad two things. I'm just gonna put it in the same gift bag. And here it is right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. This one can actually be wrapped just a little bit. Very nice, if I might say so myself. Just gonna put a little All right, I'm going to place this in the bag as well. All right, now from here, you just want to make the bag because everything's in here. You just want to make the bag look cute now. So I like to add in all my, my little tissue papers and stuff. Right, voila, Target. Now y'all got to do better. And this is my mom's last gift. I couldn't figure out how to open it. <laughs> I don't want anybody to know what they got for Christmas before Christmas. Like, I love watching people open gifts. Like, I really enjoy it. I love spending money on like my loved ones. And I was actually really disappointed this year because I wasn't able to spend money like I wanted to on people this year. But I do understand that that's not what Christmas is about. Like, you know, get people what you can, do what you can, and people who like love you will like appreciate it, you know? So here's my mom's gift. So I start off by laying the wrapping paper out. <laughs> I start off by laying the wrapping paper out. Please do not fold over. And we're going to sit the gift here. Okay? And then I like to measure out and see cuz I want I want this side to at least take up half of the box. So, just for a little wiggle room, I'm going to move it over and pull it out some more and move the box over just for a little bit of wiggle room. We're folding it over and I'll just pull it taut to the paper and then we get to taping. So we're going to put tape here, we're going to put tape here, and we're going to put tape here. Okay, then I just bring the wrapping paper over like so and I bring it to the edge right here. And this is where it's time to cut. Woo! Woo! That was a lot. I just like to make sure the box is all the way in there securely. So we're gonna move it over. And I'm gonna secure it right here with some tape. 
I like to do it sideways versus horizontal, just, you know, for a little bit more discreetness with the tape. All right. And now, you wanna cut off this excess, but I just like to look at where I'm cutting the excess off. This is the end of the box. Okay, I can cut like right here for safety. I always cut extra. You always give yourself a little room for safety because you can, you know, cut off more, but you can't get it back, okay? And we don't have wrapping paper to waste. All right. <laughs> then you're gonna do the little, you cut the, you fold the creases. And I really probably could cut some more, let me see. Oh, okay, good, good, good. All right, so you wanna fold here. Let's see, uh oh. Make sure you can see. Okay. So, right here, I'm gonna fold. I'm just gonna fold that down right there. And I'm gonna put the tape right here at the end. It's all you need. And I'm gonna take that last piece and I'm gonna fold it up like so. All right. There's that bottom half done. Now we're gonna stand it up and we're gonna do the same thing. All of my gifts are wrapped. One, two, ah! I dropped it. One, two, and three. Woo, glad that's over, right? Woo. All right, so I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. See you in the next vlog. Um, I'm doing some exciting Christmas stuff in the next one, so don't miss it. See y'all next time, bye.